culture trades or scientific and once again the anthropology has validated that every culture trait is scientific keeping their space and time into consideration human has proved these things and evolved from one stage to the other and ultimately today the reality is the existing global community and every community and every country showed a patterned behavior in living and especially in dealing with this covid-19 anthropologist term such patterned behavior as culture and meat calls this as national character anthropologist also provide scope for cross cultural understanding and has the pandemic is cross culturally affected and suggest that ethnological approach in understanding the ongoing public health problem and recommended holistic approach in managing the impact of disease on human lives in the present lecture i would like to discuss about the cultural break breakdown keeping oscar lewis approach of understanding everyday life this is my after uh, reading five families and uh, oscar lewis uh, culture of poverty has given a wonderful understanding how this everyday life has been uh, constructed for every individual for every community and every society and so on lewis is very unusual anthropologist and his works deserve discussion not only because of its impact in mexico and it might affect some latin american uh, feelings towards north america also but equally because of its high quality and its uh, iconism has been highly recognized similarly in the same approach if you could start putting on uh, looking at this lockdown of society as a whole uh, it has really really created an upside down of everyday life and lead to communities to total cultural breakdown in pluralistic india the contemporary postmodernists are constantly insisting and trying to convince the relevance of alternative perspective and suggested the process of deconstruction of the existing one besides its severe criticism the past few months the lessons continuously we heard from different walks of leaders and achievers wave i quote life as it was will have to change if the novel corona virus is to be stopped and it is the time to look at things alternatively or we are forced to see life differently i unquote very easily everybody was talking about uh, out uh, alternatives and the contemporary postmodernism has been insisting besides the cultural construction the so far cultural constructions and the conceptual constructions like uh, the social inclusion togetherness close knitted family kinship community and society inculcated a sort of a values and ideas and uh, behaviors uh, of being together now started teaching us social distance and sometimes people call it as physical distance and so on though the concept has constructed a doc and this social distances has been constructed a doc purpose but living and practice with it adopting alternative is not simple for human the contemporary corporate visions statement had been insisting their employees to think out of the box and perceived it as the most developed or deserving soft skill of today anthropologists also proved that human is uninventive but quick in adding frills to the existing invention so this has been right from the day when the anthropologist has observed what i am trying to say here is getting into alternatives is not so favorable for all moreover such alternatives 
may be relatively possible for the affluent whose socio-economic and political positions are well established and not for the marginalized population. The marginalized population try hard to meet their ends on daily basis and they are really exhausted with new ideas. In circumstances like this of ongoing present pandemic, the changing everyday life with prolonged uncertainty, I underline the word prolonged uncertainty, every individual, every community, every society and every country are getting affected due to this pandemic and only the forms of cultural expressions do differ accordingly. Many such small communities of India, what I'm talking about, the marginalized, do fall into the categories of scheduled tribe and sometimes scheduled caste. And one need not go deep in defining what these categories means in socioeconomics. We are all well versed with that, particularly the anthropologists who have been in continuously working among these uh, as communities uh, and we could understand what this everyday life means for these communities. I'm analyzing the affected everyday life of the marginalized community of India rather than the very impact of the affected disease of COVID-19. That is not my concern. I'm only working and trying to analyze uh, the communities who have been affected under this lockdown. The reality was that the identity of this COVID patients were never telecasted or narrated enough in print medias and electronic medias. As the visuals shown to us are always masked and the viewers could hardly perceive the, the human pain beyond this mask and hence I could not be able to really analyze and meet them and my concern and my focus of this lecture is not on the affected COVID patients but the communities who have been affected and, and particularly marginalized in our society. It was only the dead bodies were shown and the counts were estimated as far as the, uh, the COVID patients are concerned. The news item, the public, and the human struggle on coping with the situation. The outputs are based on my observation, Tamil Nadu specific. As a trained anthropologist, meticulously, I was following the issues around me and trying to understand applying anthropological concepts and strongly feel that we the anthropologists should play a pivotal role in the ongoing pandemic. Pandemic has become a byword now and every communication trying hard to grasp the very meaning of it through various medium. Historically, India also witnessed many epidemics like cholera, smallpox and so on in the past and it has been documented to some extent. Besides the epidemics, natural disasters like drought, famine, flood, earthquake, forest fire, cyclones, and so on, do create loss of lives, livelihood, displacement, homelessness, refuge, etc. Tsunami was once upon a time utopian in India. And the year 2004 showed us the magnificent landscape structure and loss of livelihood and loss of lives particularly among the fishers and the other coastal communities. But the fact remains that the process of relief, rehabilitation and reconstruction were well organized and the global support for this particular natural hazard were phenomenal. But now the electronic media news on affected COVID-19 positive people of China, the continuous WhatsApp messages on locked up homes with patients, the group of burials of uh, human dead bodies and burning of houses, creating panic among the people and the situation uh, continued to Italy, America, France, Spain, Germany, and then followed uh, India. Every country was started following uh, the concept of lockdown and felt that it was the only means uh, to control the disease. 
it has become a cumbersome process for the government to maintain the total loss.